Hey, sneaky things back tonight. And tonight we're going to have a look at Open Sousa 11.2. Let's come to KTE. Now, the last time I did Open Sousa, I didn't like it very much. And I wasn't very kind to it. So I found this uh, CD line about, or DVD line about. I thought we'll give it another go. So you can see, nice clean, fresh desktop. Not my sort of green, but hey, you get your desktop folder in one of your widgets, which there's plenty of. Remember, this is KDE 4.3, not 4.4. It's your web browser, bloody blah, 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 basic KDE. Oh, by the way, if you want to see more of KDE 4.4, Osgui is the one on the Osgui Tech Show. Go and have a look over there. But anyway, applications, your computer, yes, there's their administrative services and installer, etc. Root waste bin. Recently used, yes, I to configure my desktop using the X system. Bit of a bummer, but it takes a couple of seconds really. And get log out, look on, switch user, suspend, and shut down. Super duper. So, anyway, I'll click on here because this new software updates are available. They're always going well, isn't it? Then, oh, all still going well, all still going well. And that's as far as we get, basically. It doesn't actually go any further. Which ain't very good, really, is it? Considering it's probably one of the bigger distros, and it's been around for quite a long while now. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Because it didn't happen last time. Minus point, I'm afraid, open season on that one. But hey, we'll keep going. Uh, not just an overview of this one, this is more of what open is about, so I'm going to use their website and show you a bit more about them. Yeah, still checking for updates, but it never bloody finds them. Never bloody find them. But never mind. Such is life, eh? Such is life. So, we'll open up the Fox. Now you may say that this is a bit sluggish. Now OpenSUSE really wants one gig of RAM and I've only given it half a gig of RAM. So this is why it looks a little bit sluggish on my machine. But hey, it installed. Even that said it wouldn't. Anyway, we're at the website. You can create it, discover, get it. Alright, so we'll, do, we'll get it. Uh, the main installation DVD is a whole 4.7 gig. Now if you've got a slow net, it's no good to you or me, is it? Got blind, they'll be there for years. There's a live name, live KDE, and network as well. But they are not highlighted here, but you can get them. Where from I didn't go further. But if you were interested in doing that, I think the CD or DVD image is a lot less. I think it's more like 800 meg or something like that, so that's not too bad, is it? So, discover. We're going to discover your sort of thing, you know, they want you to participate, blah, 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 participate in what they're doing. All well and good, yeah. Bad. I must say it's a lot easier to use than the last time I used it. It's a bit. I'm still not getting it very much, though. But hey, some people may like it. I mean, it does come with all the whistles and bells once you get it running. Right, there's a build surface as well, and basically you can actually build your own stuff here. Now I did try this a good few months ago because it was in beta, but I've not been back to it. So, but basically you can create your own packages and build them in, which is a bloody good thing, really. When I used it, it was quite fun. Eventually, after about two weeks of trying to get in bloody bloody blah, blah, they were using it eye open or something to, to use it to get into the service. But anyway, enough of that. BBC homepage. Lovely colours, I do admit. I've got the X working lovely. And Firefox works really pretty neat, really. I can't really moan at it too much, you know. Oh, yes. Well, that's enough of that. Go on. I'll scroll down a bit more. Scroll down a bit more. Does it come with flesh? Oh. Best we go and find out, eh? And you know what? It doesn't. Well, not in this version, anyway. This version is a universal version from the DVD that I've got from a magazine somewhere. So they can't put the codex in. But normally the codex would be put in, I think. I can't guarantee that. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. Anyway, OpenOffice comes as standard. Bit laggy, but it's alright. It's all usable. I mean, I'm using a dual core here, but I'm only giving it half a gig of RAM, and I think the swap's only about 7 800. I can't remember now exactly. It took a while to install, I must admit. I wasn't happy about that. But it did install, and it does work, which is the main thing. Online help, which is online, of course. So you've got the forums, as usual, mailing lists, chats and helps, and documentation. So you can do it all from there if you so wish. This is the way they want to do it. I mean, some people may like it. It's alright. I don't hate it. It's better than last time. That's the main thing. It is better than last time I used it. But mm, still not doing it for me. Maybe I need to use it longer. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, show an introduction to KDE 4. 
Now I say again, it's not KD 4.4, it's KD 4.3, so it's nothing new really. End of the day, is it? Nothing new at all. So there, up it comes, it's online again. We'll close that down. And it just explains all about the plasma desktop, etc. You start menu your panel toolbox and how to use it. And make sure you've got a decent graphics card as well, by the way, if you want to use all this stuff. Otherwise, it won't happen at all. So if you've got a really crappy card, don't worry about it. Don't even think about it. It ain't going to work for you. Is it really? It's still trying to update over there. So we'll show the plasma desktop. Which it doesn't. We're looking at our widgets. It doesn't. We're over in the corner there, really. That's where it all is. If you click in the corner, that's where all the stuff works from. So you zoom in, zoom out, add your widgets, check all your desktop settings, shortcut your settings, blah de blah de blah. I'm not going to do it too much here because we're taking too much time up with it. Comes with Dolphin as your file manager, which is really good. Four desktops. On that little bar down there, you can place that bar anywhere you want to. And it's really configurable. Don't get me wrong, really good well, I suppose if I used it for ooh, a good couple of weeks, I'd probably get to like it. Now you get edutainment. There's a desktop globe. Sorry about the legginess for the moment. Sorry. That's my own fault. Not giving it enough RAM to use on. There we go. And it comes. And basically, it's a globe. You can zoom in and zoom out and go everywhere and go and have a look at places and towns. But we've got Google Maps for that, haven't we? Have we? Yeah, I'm sure we have. I'm sure they have. But hey, it's a nice little app to have, I suppose. It's got kids that do a bit of learning or something, but hey. Get me bored that bit now. Say so see you later. Say bye. It's gone. Anyway, back to our menu again. Oh, how did I do that? I've managed to click on one of the widgets. Oh, hang on a minute. Just let me do this first. That's going to be the wrong one, isn't it? Yes. Didn't want to do that. We'll cancel that. Thank you. Go over. Click our widget. Goodbye. How did I do that? I don't know. Okay. Our oh, Amrock is your music player. Amrock's getting quite good now. But this is only 11.2. It's not the most current one. I know it's on a, it's on a current DVD from a magazine, but they tend to have the old ones and not the up-to-date ones, which can be a bit of a bummer, really. Oh, yeah, Bluetooth framework as well, and Newsreader, RSS, etc., etc. We're going through the motions now, really. I'm coming to the end. There's not much more to show you, really. You really need to use it yourself and give it a go. Because some of you may really like it, and some of you may really hate it. I'm an in-between one, this one. In-betweener. So anyway, it's still updating. Sneaky Linux going out. <laughs>